Cypher is the native declarative query language of Neo4j. It is extremely powerful for querying and updating graphs while keeping simplicity in its core. As mentioned on previous lectures, it resembles in a way to SQL, though the syntax is dramatically different since it's not based on how you want to set or retrieve the data, but what are you actually looking for. Two main concepts are involved in the cipher querying syntax. The way the nodes and relationships are transcribed and the grammar usage. The following description will allow us to recap on the graph concepts once more. On a graph there are nodes and relationships. Nodes are entities or objects, whereas the relationships define how these nodes are linked or related. The nodes are the objects and entities of interest. The relationships define how the nodes are linked or related. The labels categorize the nodes and relationships in types. The properties are the features of nodes and relationships. Both the labels and properties are set freely in terms of naming. These items in Cypher are represented as follows in terms of punctuation. The nodes are defined between round brackets or parentheses. The relationships are defined between squared brackets preceding and followed by dashes connecting to the nodes. The angle brackets define the direction of the relationship and are placed at the ending of the node's edge. The labels are defined after a column. The properties are defined between braces and follow the same syntax as the labels. It is not mandatory to define the labels of the nodes or relationships involved in a query although is recommended as helps understanding the purpose of the query and the paths to be followed by the engine. Cypher also supports the usage of variables which can represent nodes, relationships or even aggregations or system calculations such as timestamps. Will be shown in an example shortly. With regards to the grammar, a basic structure of a cipher query defines which nodes are of interest, applying any further restrictions if needed, and then retrieving the results back. This is translated in the match or create, where, and return or delete clauses. Match states which nodes and their relationships are of interest. Create is used for setting new nodes and relationships. Where applies filters on the properties and labels of nodes and relationships, further relationships, or even on aggregated or system-based variables. Return defines the elements to retrieve back from the query, whether they are graphs or properties, even with some aggregation formulas. In case of delete, the list of nodes and relationships targeted. The two forward slashes initiate a comment. On further examples, other clauses will be disclosed while gaining experience in Cypher. Bear in mind Cypher is case insensitive with regards to the clauses. All the comments placed on the query are executed sequentially. 
they can be concatenated in a single line, though for clarity comments can be separated per lines. The querying differs quite from a standard SQL as it focuses on what the results are expected rather on how they are all intertwined. The Hello World example, used while diving into the Neo4j's browser lecture, is a good starting point for understanding the rationale of Cypher. This query inserts new nodes and relationships onto the database. Its translation could be as follows. Create a node with the label database with a property named value Neo4j, linked via a relationship with label says to a node with label message with a property name with value hello world. Retrieve back the variables of the node's database, message and relationship are. The Neo4j browser automatically colors the query items to easily identify the labels in dark red, the properties in dark gold, and the variables in blue. With regards to the grammar, the comments are in green and the comments appear grayed out. The two nodes involved, database and message, appear between round brackets. So does the relationship between the square brackets encapsulated in dashes and angled bracket defining the direction. In this case, the node database has a relation to the node message, which can be understood as near for J says hello world. The labels in dark red are set for the two nodes with the values database and message. In the same way, the relationship has the label says. The nodes have properties to be set. Both of them are name one being Neo4j for the database, and the other one Hello World for the message one. In this query, three variables are set for each of the to be created items, two nodes and one relationship. The contents to retrieve upon creation are these variables created. The first line of the query is a one-liner comment so to identify the nature of the execution. In case of a saved query, this one-liner is shown on the list. Second line creates the nodes and relationships described earlier. Last comment specifies the content to retrieve, which in this case are the three variables defined. 